Good morning everybody, my name's Julie, um, I'm 52, I'm disabled, um, I've got spina bifida, scoliosis, lung problems, um, I'm a beauty reviewer, um, I've got a page on Instagram that is doing well now, um, I'll put a link in the description so you can check me out. Um, I'm just going to get ready, I'm going out and meeting up with my daughter, I'm uh, meeting some friends. So I'm going to do my makeup and do a natural look. So I thought I'd show you what products I use and how I apply some of my makeup. Um, I will apologise if my dog starts barking or the parrot lands on my head or something unusual because it's a bit crazy this morning. Um, right, I've already cleansed and toned and moisturised my face. So what I'm going to apply today is Marcel BB Cream. Um, the shades, the shade is Golden Glow because I, I, you probably can't see it on here, but I have got a bit of a tan at the moment. Um, it's a light coverage. I'd say it's more like a tinted moisturiser, but it's an, it's got an illumination effect, so it'll make your skin look healthy. Um, I'll just apply a bit to my skin. Um, what this does, it contro controls the shine. If you've got a really shiny face it controls that um, and it covers slight imperfections so it's not full coverage it'll just cover like if you've got tiny little marks on your face or you've got the odd little little spot you want to cover up um, it costs £25.50 so it is a bit expensive but it is it's really good if you just want um a light coverage um, it will last all day you don't need to reapply um, yeah it goes on smoothly it's also got a moisturizer in it so as you can see that's gone on lovely it's just a light coverage so that's the Marcel um, golden glow illuminator and that's 25 pound 50 if you want to treat yourself um, the next thing I'm going to use is by Maybelline. It's one of the Fit, Fit Me ranges. It's their light concealer. And I paid £5.99 from Superdrug. They'll do it in boots, all the local, you know, chemist style shops. Just going to apply a bit under my eyes. Top of my lip. On my nose. And on my chin. I'm not going too mad with it because, like I said, it's just a natural look. So I'm just going to brush that in a little bit. So I don't know what everybody else is up to today. The weather's pretty rubbish again. But we're just meeting some friends, trying to get out. I've got a day off work today. I'll start back at work tomorrow. Um, I'm only doing 18 hours at the moment because I recently had a heart attack. I used to work full time, so I'm now like just trying to reduce my hours and look after myself a bit better. I think I was doing a bit too much um, and it all got a bit on top of me sort of thing. Uh, I'm a, if anybody wants to know, I'm a team leader in a dementia home, so it, it can be quite stressful at times when you're looking after the staff, the residents, um, you know, and you, you're making decisions about people's lives as well you know we do do end of life care so yeah it can be quite stressful but i do enjoy it so i shouldn't moan so that's the concealer as you can see it's got a bit of a light effect so that's by maybelline it's the fit me range and it is 5.99 it conceals, but it's not like a heavy concealer, so it doesn't go cakey. It easily rubs in, blots in, however you... I just tend to pat it under my eyes, to be honest. My eyebrows are a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm trying to grow them out, um, and then I can have them reshaped properly, so they're that awful in-between stage where I can't really do anything with them at the moment. Um, the next thing I use is a bronzer stick. I do like the bronzer sticks to contour with. I just find that they're easier. 
It's by CYO Cosmetics and it cost me $5.50. Um, the shade I use is a medium to dark. It's got fruit extracts in it um, and it's really easy to apply. Just put a fine line there. Tend to go from the top of my ear. Obviously I've got a really high forehead. So I'll put a line there and just here on the chin line, cheek line, I should say, on the chin line, to be honest, and just here. So that's that. I've had it, this has lasted me ages, to be honest. Look at the, look at this, it's disgusting. I need to clean it. Um, so yeah, that's the bronzer by the CYO. I use it for contouring. It cost me five fifty. It smells of coconut as well. Yeah, really coconutty smell. It's water resistant and it'll last all day. I'm using the Iconic brushes at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving. The bristles are so soft and they're like firm as well. So you, you can apply your makeup brilliantly with them. So I'm just blending that in. Uh. That goes in lovely and leaves just a slight shimmer effect. Obviously, I'm trying to go for the natural look today, so I'm not going too heavy on the makeup. That really matches my skin tone, you see. You can hardly really tell I've got it on. Just a slight emphasis. Bring my cheeks out a little bit. I don't really like the powder bronze as much. I think as I've got older, um, and obviously when you're in your 50s, I don't know if other ladies are having the same problem. My skin is so dry and I think if you put powders on, they just look really cakey. Hide my double chin. I need a ton of this then, don't I? You see my dog on the bed behind me, my hairless Charlie. He's just decided to jump into bed. My parrot's sitting here on the table watching me. So that's that. That's gone on lovely, smoothly. I think it matches my skin tone good. So that's the CYO bronzer. And that was 550. Right, I recently bought... I am absolutely terrible at doing the winged winged eyeliner look. So I've, I've bought the Stamp and Drag. Um, that's by C at London and it cost me £15. Um, it's got the, if you can see it, it's a triangle on one end. And then you've got the fine tip on the other end. This is only my second time doing this, so if it looks ridiculous, just bear with me. Um, just make sure I'm putting the right end. So you just stamp it. Can you see it there? That's it, you just stamp it. So that's brilliant for me because I ain't got mum, I'm like all shaking out when I'm putting my eyeliner on. And then obviously I'm looking in the mirror as well at the side. Just tie that in together. It's really good and it's a really fine tip. But what I also like about it, it's a chunky, chunky pen like to hold. So I'm trying to do this and balance, balance um, the eyeliner on my eye. Yeah, it's really doesn't drag on the skin. Goes on lovely. And that stamp is absolutely perfect. I'll just do the other eye. So yeah, I've seen some, I've seen it on, um, social media and I thought oh I'll try that 
think I made, I might need to put another stamp on the corner of this one. Don't think I've um, done it as high there. There you go, that's better. That's better if you can see that. I think I'd gone a bit too, too low with it. So that's the stamped, can you see? You just stamp it at the end and then just, you know, match it up. So that is by, it's called, it, what's it called? The Stamp and Drag Duo. It's by Sia London, it's 15 pound. And if you're like me, you struggle to get the perfect winged look, definitely treat yourself to this. It's really thick pen, easy to hold. I just, it's really good actually, so that's a good buy. Um, I've also bought a new mascara. It's by Ico and it's black magic in really dark black. It's, um, it's got like a curved brush. And it really lifts your lashes. You'll be able to see in a minute. Just look in my mirror there so you can see what I'm doing. Really makes your eyelashes look long as well. I like the curved brush because I think the curved brush gets right to the, the bottom of the lashes and then you can push them up. And it's not a tube, it's not so much like, you know, like the usual mascara tubes. Yeah, it goes on really nice. And it does seem to lift and curl your eyelashes right up. Can you see? Can you see it just like really lifts? This is where I hate putting eye, um, mascara on the bottom lashes. This is where I usually end up either poking myself in the eye or getting it all over my face. I like that it, I like that it's a small wand as well. Okay, so that's the mascara. It's by Ico. And I pay, well, for four mil, it's £10. And for eight mil, it's £19. And it's got a curved brush, like I showed you. Um, and it's really nice. It's a really nice mascara. So you can give that one a go. Ico. Right. So let me have a look what else I've got. I'm going to be putting on. Um, I bought myself a new eyeshadow pad palette. Not eyeshadow palette. What am I on about, Julie? Highlighter palette. It's got four, four powders and one cream. So that's the cream one. So you've got peaches. Um, the other one's like a pink shimmery, white shimmery, and then like a beige shimmery. I'm going to apply, I think, because I'm tanned, I'm going to apply the peach shimmer. The case is lovely as well. I don't want to, it's a gold case and it has got a mirror. So if I just apply it, but I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know what it's going to look like. Just sweep that there. Let's have a new. Oh, yeah. 
It's very, very subtle. It's not like an in-your-face shimmer. So for a natural look, it's just a nice light shimmer. And that's by Sleek. And the palette cost $9.99. It's highly pigmented. I don't think the, the one I've just applied, the peach is highly pigmented because it's, it's only a soft shimmer. So whether the darker ones will be more more intense but can you just see just gives a light shimmer to my face I'll just brush a bit on my forehead so can you see the sort of look I'm going for um, I just want a natural look. So that's a sleek makeup highlighter palette. Sorry, and that's $9.99. Right, the lipstick. Oh, I love nude lipsticks. I'm really into nude lipsticks at the moment. So the one I've been wearing is a matte cream and it's by Mick Beauty. I will show you the colour. I wear this, it lasts ages. Really creamy. Looks natural. Um, yeah, that's my favourite lipstick at the moment. Um, that cost me £15. And it's by Mick Beauty. So if you're into nude lipsticks, definitely give them a try. Lovely. This will last. I'll put this on now. This will probably last me um, till late this afternoon. And then I'll probably have to reapply it then. Yeah, I really like that. And then, just to finish it all off, I'll be using the Pixie Glow Mist. Um, really love this. Smells gorgeous. Just apply that all over my face. Wait till that dries. So that's my makeup look for today. That's more of a natural look. I will put a link um, description with all the products I've used today and the prices and where you can get them from. Um, if there's anything else you want me to review, please let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe and follow me. Um, come and have a look at me on Instagram. I'll leave all the links. Um, if you've got me any, any tips you can give me, any advice. Um, be kind and just let me know and give me a follow. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.